Hi Sagittarius, this is Eileen with your September 2019 Psychic Tarot card reading. And you're starting the month of September with the Five of Pentacles card. And Five of Pentacles is talking about worrying about money, your prosperity, feeling like you don't have enough, or maybe you're going through something right now where your money's really tight or you've been through some difficulties just recently and are currently going through some financial difficulties. And so it's got you uh, feeling a little discouraged. Now this is a general reading, so some of these cards may resonate with you while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances. And I am reading the meanings of the cards as well as tuning in on a psychic level. So with the Five of Pentacles, I'm getting some things tied to relationships with this card too. I'm feeling like some of you, you might have something going on with a relationship. I'm getting maybe a separation of some kind. Possibly someone's going through a divorce or recently was divorced or or maybe you were living with someone and uh, it's kind of like it's ending. It's coming to an ending, but there's financial issues here and financial concerns about not being with someone one where maybe you're sharing expenses and things like that. So um, there's some insecurities here I'm tuning into. Now, I do feel like there's someone else I'm tuning into. feels like more of a, um, maybe this might be just for one person I'm tuning in. But you've been living on your own, living alone. Or maybe you might have one or more children or something. But you're on your own. And uh, you've been having a hard time with money. And what I'm getting is that there's going to be a nice person. I'm feeling like the person I'm talking to, the Sagittarius, is a female. And there's a nice guy, a nice male man, whatever. <laughs> Not a male man, but <laughs> a nice guy, I'll say that way, <laughs> that is around you, circulating around you, or will come into your life soon. And your self-esteem is not real good because you've suffered financially, and so you don't feel as good about yourself. This person is going to see beneath the surface. They're going to find you attractive anyway even though you may not feel that good about yourself. But you're going to be assuming that they can't possibly be interested in you. And the truth is, this person is going to be interested in you. They're going to see you as a good quality, nice person. So um, you need to build up your self-esteem. That's so important because a lot of times when you have difficult times, whether it's in relationships or with money situations or whatever, it can hurt your self-esteem. So start building your self-esteem back up, get your confidence back, because this is a temporary situation that you've been going through, and you can find your way out of that. You've done better for yourself in the past, and you can do better again coming up in the future. You just start have, you have to start looking at your life in a different way, like you're on the way up, you know? It's like, hey, you are, maybe you've already hit bottom there's no place to go but up and you're on the way up and build up your self-esteem and then you will be able to believe that this nice person really is interested in you because I feel like they have a pretty good job but they're a nice person and um, it could be possibly a good uh, somebody good for you to, to go out with next card you have is the star card and this is a major arcana destiny card and the star is wanting to heal you and heal your life whether it's been financial problems or relationship issues. Maybe, maybe you've had some aches and pains recently or in recent months. The star wants to offer you its healing light. So this is a really good omen to have starting your month in September. And uh, the star wants to light your way to prosperity and success and healing. And um, the word forgiveness just came to my mind. It just popped right in there like I was supposed to say that forgiveness. So I don't know if you need to forgive someone else or maybe forgive yourself. Um, Sometimes we hold the bar up pretty high for ourselves and not as high as, you know, more higher for ourselves than we do for other people and don't let ourselves off the hook real easily. And so I got that word forgiveness. Normally that, uh, you know, that's not what I'm saying when I'm reading about the star, but it floated right into my head. So someone might need, you might need to forgive someone else 
or if you've made mistakes and you're not feeling good about yourself, forgive yourself because we're all just human. We all make mistakes. And um, But the star wants to offer you healing, healing for your life in whatever shape or form that may take. And uh, the star is guiding you to a better way of life. And this is a good card to have along the five of pentacles because you're not stuck in that situation, even if you felt like you are, whoever that applies to. And the star, it's like the star is shining the way to lead you away from despair and and bad times and wanting to lead you on to the good times. I am feeling someone's in a really good relationship right now, maybe even engaged in September or possibly just married or maybe you just moved in or you are moving in with someone you've been going out with and you're in love and enjoying your life and just feeling really good about yourself and your life. You have, you're prosperous also, you're doing well, and uh, you have a nice home to live in, and you're enjoying your life right now, and you just, it's just a really good place to be, because you feel good, you're able to enjoy and appreciate all the good you have around you, and not take things for granted, it's like you're really enjoying whatever you have, whatever prosperity you're having, um, it's really nice just to be able to enjoy it because when you do and you're grateful and you're enjoying what you have around you and what your you know your own prosperity your own goods that you have the universe delivers more good to you to enjoy and to appreciate and so uh, I'm just I don't know if that's one person I just tuned into I, th I think it's more than one I think it's at least a few of you I tuned into on that but all in all, the star is a good card. Wow, look what you have following the star, the Ten of Pentacles. I love this card. I mean, look at all the coins in the chest. It's like a treasure chest full of coins. Is that a bunny? Is that is that a bunny on that on that chest? I think it's. I mean, I've been seeing this little creature here. I think it's a bunny. I guess. Yeah, I think it's a bunny. <laughs> Oh, and there's a turtle down there. Um, but this is such a good card. Uh, this is reminding me of the hare and the tortoise. And the pentacles relate typically a lot of times to the earth signs. Um, okay, but regardless, the ten of pentacles is a great card for you to have in September. It's talking about your prosperity, your... Um, happiness, feeling good about your life because you're doing well. You are having that prosperity that you desire and that you want for your life. Uh, so a number of you Sagittarians are doing pretty well at this time. And uh, maybe you just got a raise or just received a chunk of money or you're going to very shortly too. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. This um, treasure chest of coins represents a chunk of money, like a lump sum that's coming to you. You may have just received it, or you might be receiving it soon. And for others of you, this could just represent how well you've been doing for yourself in your work. Uh, some of you are self-employed and doing well in your business. Others are working for a company and you're doing well. You're in a good position where you work and your income is good. You might be doing something in management. I'm feeling management where you're really being a good leader is what I'm feeling for somebody. That might be a few of you. I'm feeling something sales oriented and the fire signs are great in the, in the field of sales. So that wouldn't be surprising anyway. I'm just getting different scenarios for different people and it's, it's good. This is where you want to be uh, because it's enriching all of your life. It makes you feel good when you know you're, you're working. I feel like you're doing work. You're enjoying. You're good at your work and you're enjoying, you're enjoying your interactions with other people. And so when you go home, you feel good. You know, you're upbeat. Uh, you're able to pay for things, whatever bills you have or whatever things need to be taken care of. You can you have the money to pay for it instead of holding off or putting just putting it on a credit card and hoping you can pay it off later. This is a good place to be. And a number of Sagittarians are in this place right now. And this is what everybody should aspire to. Because when you're worrying about money, it just spoils everything. It makes it so hard to really enjoy your life. So um, 
uh, and again, I always recommend everyone learn about the law of attraction because when you do, then you're thinking in terms of prosperity and success and your intention is to create lots of prosperity for you in all areas of your life, not just in your bank account, but in your relationships, your quality of life, your recreation, whatever, you know, you want your life to be balanced. So uh, you can be in this place if you're not there now by just practicing the law of attraction, thinking and feeling prosperous and successful, giving yourself good messages and building your self-esteem and being confident and strong. And uh, Sagittarius, um, the, the fire signs, I'm a fire sign, I'm an Aries, my, my, my rising is Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius and the fire signs, we all like to be out, um, oh, um, just outgoing and optimistic. That's the word I'm looking for. We like to be optimistic. We don't want to be down. That's not our natural state. Our natural state is to be upbeat, optimistic. Tomorrow's a new day. You know, today or yesterday was a bad day, but it's okay. I'm going to make a new plan tomorrow <laughs> and start working at it. And that's how the fire signs are. We're just built to, you know, bounce back. Um, Okay, this is the devil card here, another major arcana card. The devil, when I see the devil card, I think of somebody who has bad habits. Maybe it's drinking, drugs, cheating, lying, stealing, whatever. But they, that's their way of life. They're not feeling guilty or anything. It's like that's how they live their life. This is, you know, it's what you see is what you get. It's the devil uh, or embodying the traits of the devil. And um, so this can, for some Sagittarians, represent your own bad habits, or it can represent, um, you know, maybe being, um, feeling, having negative thoughts about your life and not being able to break th free of negative thinking and stuff that you're not expecting good things for yourself. But overall, what I'm getting here more so than that is relationships. I'm feeling this devil figure is a person that's in some of your lives in a relationship. It feels more likely a romantic relationship than just a friendship or business. I mean, it could be somebody you'd be doing some business with, but if so, I'm also feeling something romantic uh, woven in that. You know, like maybe you're hiring somebody to do some work for you and you're very attracted to them and they're, they're um, attracted to you and there's some kind of little hanky-panky going on or that might go on soon. Or it's someone you've been seeing already and um, uh, it's like it's hard for you to say no to this person. This person has a lot of charisma and, and they know it also. And uh, they can come across very sincere and very focused on you, like you're the one they want. And they intend to do that because that's how they capture their prey. Um, they want you to feel and to think that they're only thinking about you. They are just after you. And then you might not be thinking clearly because you're so mesmerized by this person and their energy and their charisma and maybe they're good looking and sexy too and you don't think it out you don't think it through very well and you start feeling like well you know you're flattered and you're attracted to them too and then you start wanting to believe maybe this is the person I'm supposed to be with maybe this is my right person that was I'm supposed to meet well no it's not this is someone who's just looking out for themselves. They're very selfish, very self-centered, and it's kind of like a conquest. So if they can win you over with their smooth talking and whatever they're doing and however they're acting around you, um, it's a conquest for them. They win. And then they can turn right around and be with someone else right after being with you, maybe the next day or later that day or whenever, and they're turning on the charm with that person like they're the only one they're interested in. But they come across so sincere. They're very believable, very believable. Um, this person could be, if you're do doing business with this person, they could definitely be cheating you out of your money in one way or another or telling you, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a really good quality job for you on this, this, or that. And they go buy the cheapest materials they can, you know, if let's say they were doing a, 
a remodeling on your house, you know, and they go by the cheap, charge you the high price and go try get the cheapest, junkiest materials they can use or something. They're just, they're cheaters. They cheat, they lie, you know, this is not an honest person. But I'm getting personal relationship issues here. I feel like someone, at least one of you and maybe more, you're still being... Um, you're still under this person's spell. You haven't, the spell hasn't been broken yet. You're still believing their, um, their story. So whoever you are, all the cards do not relate to everyone. It's a general reading. Whoever you are that's still believing in this person, wake up, you know, take a closer look at who you're dealing with. Look for the red flags. Listen to your intuition. You've kind of turned off your intuition or something temporarily. I mean, that's at least one person I'm tuning into. I know that. So, like I said, this is a general reading. So, a lot of people, this devil card may not even apply to you. And a few of you, I feel like, are in that relationship, but you're a little more receptive to taking my advice. But there's at least one person who is really convinced that this person is for real. So, I hope, I hope, I hope you start seeing some of the red flags, whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> Next card you have is the Justice. This is another major arcana card. You've got, a, got several major arcana cards. You've got one, two, three, four, five altogether out of ten cards. Okay, now the Justice card, this is saying that uh, it's kind of like karma. You know, what you put out, you get back. And here's the scales of justice being balanced. So if you haven't been treated well, if you've been cheated in one way or another by people, circumstances, something hasn't gone your way, even though you were living a good life, you were being honest, you were doing your best to do the right thing, and yet life has been unfair, or maybe people have been unfair to you and mistreated you or cheated you in some way or another, or in one way or another withheld your good from you. It's like the universe is going to make things right for you. And on the other hand, if you're having some kind of a court situation where you have to go to court and deal with something or some kind of legal situations, there's a good chance with having this justice card that things may be settled in your favor. Um, and again, it's kind of like karma, though. What you put out, you get back. So if you've been putting out good things, you're, you're going to get back good things. If you're... If you've done something where maybe you weren't very honest or whatever, well, then maybe justice is not going to be so nice to you. But overall, I'm getting good energy. I'm getting really strong, good energy here that your life is being made right and balanced for you, that you've had your tough times. That's what I'm feeling for a number of you, that you've gone through some difficult challenges. Part of it might have been relationship, money, or a combination of the two. And it's behind you overall, but you might still be dealing with it. Or maybe you still kind of think about the difficulties you had, even if things you've gotten yourself on a, a higher ground now. It's like the Justice card is saying those times are behind you now. It's over. Life will be better for you because you've already um, paid the price, you know. You've already paid your dues, as they say, and now things are going to level out for you and be better for you. That's the message I'm getting in this card right now. So I feel like that will apply to a number of Sagittarians. Um, again, it's a general reading. So, but, uh, but overall, I'm getting good energy. I'm not getting negative energy at all from that card. Next card you have is the Page of Pentacles. And the Pentacles do relate to money. They relate to the Earth signs of Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn. And the Page of Pentacles is talking about good news regarding your money. Or it could even be good news academically. Maybe you're wanting to get into a particular school or get some certification to um, advance your career. And the Page of Pentacles might be coming through saying, okay, you've been accepted or you're getting the okay on this. And uh, or on the other hand, you might have been applying for jobs, applying for uh, a promotion, a transfer, raise, whatever. And you could be getting that good news that you have the green light on what you are aiming for, what you are hoping for this month. So this is a really positive card here of some kind of good news coming your way about your money. 
you might have been waiting on a sum of money and maybe you're finding out finally the money is either here now or it's coming shortly so um, so you've got see that's a good card to come after justice especially if there was any kind of uh, legal dealing where you're hoping you know for maybe a settlement or some money coming your way or whatever or maybe just somebody's owed you money and they've been saying okay I've got some money coming to me I'm planning to pay you whatever it is um, it could have something to do with that and then also I do like that it is underneath this five of pentacles the worrying about money the, the stressful difficult circumstances that page of pentacles is saying hey snap out of it you know it's a new beginning for you you're coming into a new beginning you have got to start feeling it so you can help attract that to yourself good news you know maybe you had been applying for jobs and then finally one of those good jobs comes through for you next card you have is the king of wands and this is one of your cards Sagittarius because the wands do relate to the fire signs of Sagittarius Leo Aries and the king of wands has achieved a certain amount of success he enjoys what he has he enjoys whatever luxuries he gets to enjoy whether they're small luxuries big luxuries he has worked hard and that's one thing about the fire signs we don't mind hard work you know we we can go out there and work and sweat and whatever we're willing to do the work um uh and and he's so he has worked hard at times he's been a bit of a workaholic to get plow through and get things done he needs to do and he's benefited you know he's he's he enjoys the rewards of all his hard work but nothing's been thrown into his lap it's like he's worked he's had to work very hard for years and so I feel like in September, a lot of you Sagittarians will be embodying the traits and feelings and emotions of the King of Wands. This is you. And, um, but at the same time, I am tuning in. On a psychic level, I'm feeling this King of Wands for somebody. This might be one person. It might be a few of you. You're searching. You've been in, in serious relationships before. Maybe you're even divorced or something, whatever. But you're searching for the right person for you. And there may even be somebody you have your eye on right now that you're watching, that you're interested in, and hoping this person might be as interested in you. I do feel you're going to have a happy love relationship come out, come into your life. You, you're capable of being very affectionate and giving a lot of love and just being a really good mate for someone. And I do feel like you're going to have that and you're going to be very happy. That's what I'm feeling like for whoever I'm tuning in for. Now, on the other hand, this could be, for some of you, a romantic interest that will come into your life in September or who might already be circulating around you now. And that's what he's about. He may be a fire sign or maybe he's got a lot of that in his chart. He is, again, he's enjoying all the fruits of his labor he enjoys whatever successes, whatever little luxuries or big luxuries that he has in his life. But he's longing for a, a real happy love relationship. And he has been in serious relationships before. And he might date here and there right now. I don't feel like he likes to spend a lot of time alone. But he's not. he hasn't found the right one. He wants the right one and he's not willing to settle for less either. He's just not. I do feel like he's recently been around somebody who's aggravating him is what I'm feeling like. He's been dating somebody and she's been getting on his nerves. <laughs> that sounds kind of specific for one person. <laughs> it's like she's pestering him. I don't know. I think she wants a, um, a serious commitment from him and he's already made up his mind. He's not, it's not her. No. And he, he's kind of on the way to try to... He, I, I, it's almost like I see a broom in his hand and he's sweeping her out the door. <laughs> it's like she's she's really been trying to hang on him. That's what I'm feeling. She she's kind of latched on. Well, he's got a, he makes money. He lives a good life. So she's been trying to kind of hang on him, and she's not in love with him. She likes what he has. She wants to live a good life. So and he, you know, I feel like he might be a good looking guy. And uh, but he's on the way to getting her out of his life. But she's he's not 
he hasn't totally done it yet, but he's on the way to it. She's most of the way out, but he's just got to totally cut the cord and just tell her because she won't, she doesn't know how to take a hint is what's going on. So, um, so if, if this, if he is looking at you and he's wondering if you might be the right one and you happen to find out that there's somebody that's still kind of straggling and hanging on to him and, it, you know, if he ends up telling you that's ending, you can pretty much believe it, but you, you need to, um, you know, confirm it with him because this person, this female I'm seeing, she's really hanging on. She's trying to act all, she laughs and teases him. She's trying to be sexy and hang on to him because she wants what he has. She wants that pros prosperous way of life. It's not love from her at all. And he knows it and she aggravates him. So that sounds very specific to one situation. Uh, overall, he can benefit you if the, he's around you. He could even benefit you if he's someone in your life in the workplace. Like if he's a manager or owner of a business, he would be the type that if he sees you working hard, he doesn't mind giving you a promotion or giving you a raise. Or if you're applying for a job with him and he sees you're a hardworking um, person and sincere and honest. He likes honesty and sincerity and people who are not lazy, people who don't mind hard work. But that's the fire signs, because that's just the way we are. You know, we, we don't mind working hard, and but we like, we're honest, and we appreciate that in others, and sincere. And that's what he's looking for. So you could benefit from him, anyone, uh, Sagittarians, that if you're doing business with this person, um, if, if you show him that you're for real, um, he you can benefit from him, whether you're applying for a job or a promotion or whatever. Next card you have is the Ace of Pentacles. And Ace of Pentacles, another really good card here. This is talking about new beginnings financially. So uh, a number of you might either you be in a new job, you're starting a new job in September that's going to be paying you better, or you have a business of your own that you're marketing, you're moving it forward, you're doing well in it, and uh, it's like you want to keep moving forward and do better and this is very promising. I get so much good energy here. You have a lot of good cards. You really do. You got a couple of negative ones, but overall, a lot of good cards for September. And the Ace of Pentacles, good. Again, something very promising in the way of a new business venture, investment. You might be just, maybe you just sold a property or you're selling one and you're getting a nice chunk of money from that. Or you might be making a purchase of something that's going to really benefit you. It might be something that's going to benefit you uh, financially up ahead. You're making some kind of change. I'm feeling somebody's moving to a different location and it's a better job. The money's better. Whether it's with your same company and you're transferring, it's a higher level uh, position. Or you're going to a new job. I'm feeling somebody might be transferring with somebody you might be transferring for someone with your existing company and maybe you're getting promoted to like a management or maybe you were a lower level manager and you're getting promoted to an upper level management position there could be things going on in the sales field for some of you things are just really bright and shiny here good energy there okay and again practice the law of attraction if you're not in a good place right now there's so much good energy for you. And a lot of Sagittarians, apparently, they're in that flow. They're in the flow of prosperity right now. So they're doing it even if they don't consciously think about law of attraction. They're already feeling confident and secure. Go-getters. They're just go-getters and going after it. And you're a fire sign. You're supposed to be that way. Anyway, that's your natural um, inherent instinct even if you've been had the rug pulled out from under you that's still inside of you you got to muster that up if you're having a tough time right now and get back out there there's so much good for you waiting for you to come after it next card you have is the moon card and this is another major arcana card um the moon is talking about Oh, maybe things going on under the surface by the end of september that you're not being told about I am feeling, for some of you, gossip. I'm feeling people gossiping. This could be at work. It could just be petty, small-minded people. 
and they're gossiping about you or maybe not just you it might be other people they're griping they're not satisfied with whatever their lot in life is they feel like they're not getting anywhere and they're agitated and so they like to put others down so they might be finding you and wanting to criticize you because you look like you're you're just getting along a little too well and they're not happy about that you look like you're getting easier you have an easier time of it than they do or you got a better break than they did so uh, you might be in a position for someone or some of you you might be in a position where you're above these people at work in your workplace and they're jealous they're just very jealous and resentful it could be that they've maybe they've been there longer than you and you came from another place to uh to that position or something uh maybe you were in another department maybe you worked at a different company but you got hired into a position that's above theirs and they're resentful because they feel like they sh they've been there a long time or a good while and they should have been promoted or something they're feeling very restricted and very agitated like they're not making enough money and you look like you're just making out better than them and they don't like it now also with the moon card um, your intuition will be sharper by the end of September which is good because you need that intuition to tune in to what's going on with people if people are talking behind your back it's good for your intuition to kick in and you know for some kind of little red flags to be out flashing in front of you so you know not to trust those people I don't feel like these are people you typically spend a lot of time around anyway for whoever I'm tuning in for um, now also just in general Sagittarius search and don't take anything at surface value because there may be other things under the surface that are not um, up to your um, expectations so you want to do your own research and make sure that every before you enter any kind of agreements contracts whatever that you know the whole picture and the whole story and and you're not just taking somebody else's word for things but otherwise I'm getting some pettiness and gossip around this situation that's kind of might stress you out a little bit Net last card you have is the hangman they call it the hanging man in this deck hangman is talking about maybe by the end of September you might be in some circumstances where you feel like a lot of things are up in the air in your life this could be waiting on maybe making a move you might be waiting to change residences um, and waiting for something to be ready for you to move into it could be the same situation with a job it could be that you're waiting maybe you've been hired for a job and you're waiting to start the new job or you may have been applying and maybe you've been back and forth for interviews and you're waiting for the final word because you know that would really be a step up for you if you get that position let me see someone else might be waiting on some situation having to do with a relationship where someone that you've been you were seeing you're waiting to see uh, maybe they've been out of town or something and you're waiting for them to see when they're coming back or something where you're waiting on something it could be some long distance relationship you're kind of waiting on to see if it's going to work out or, or you'll meet the person or whatever anyway the hangman position is not a bad place to be because it's like you're you're kind of stationary at the moment but it gives you a chance to weigh your options look at where you've been where you're going are you definitely on the path you want to be on is this the right direction to go for your life it's a good time to weigh things out to look at your circumstances look at the big picture that way hey if you decide you need to kind of change course a little bit fine um, or fine-tune things a little better whatever it is you're in a place to see clearly and get an idea because you're not being rushed from here to there at that moment so if you find yourself in a situation by the end of September where things seem to be kind of slowed down come to a stop temporarily use that time to your advantage to make sure you're still on the path you want to be on or if you want to make maybe make some adjustments okay now this deck I've been using this is the Gilded Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti and what I want to do now is pick one card from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue and if you like my videos be sure and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell 
so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. And uh, check your rising and moon sign videos. There may be some cards and messages that resonate with you on those videos as well. And if you would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, magical mermaids and dolphins, what is your message for Sagittarius for September? What's your message for Sagittarius for the month of September, mermaids and dolphins? Okay, I'm giving it one more shuffle, and then I'm going to fan these out. Okay, let's see. I don't think it's this one here. Okay, this says morning affirmations. Okay, say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. That's so important. I love, look how pretty this mermaid, look at the colors on the mermaids, um, like the lower body that what starts the tail and all that. It's kind of like these shimmery kind of colors and, and very slender and shimmery looking. It's really pretty. Uh, so, yeah, they made this mermaid look really pretty. Morning affirmations and the dolphins all around. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Great advice. Not only that, do the same thing when you go to bed at night to put the good messages into your head to for your subconscious to work on that while you sleep at night. I mean, that's much better than watching a scary movie where somebody's chasing somebody around with a knife or something. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to throw in something so negative, but I mean, it's good to go when you're going to bed at night, put positive thoughts, affirmations, plans, um, whatever, imagery of how you want your life to be so your subconscious can go to work on that. Okay. Now, next um, deck, I'm going to pick one from Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall. Okay, what's the message for Sagittarius for September 2019 for Sagittarius? What's the message for Sagittarius? I'll give it one more shuffle and fan these out. Ooh, almost dropped the deck. I, oh, darn it. Okay, this one jumped out, so I think this is it. It just jumped right out of the deck. So I think this is the one I'm supposed to read. Okay, let's see. This one says pause. That ties in with the hangman here. That's number four. I'll show you the picture. See, it's like a little fairy and nature there. Woodland fairy. So much detail in these cards. Okay, and I'm going to look this one up in the booklet. Number four. Okay. All right, let's see. Four. Pause. Take a moment to assess what to... Let me start over. Take a moment to assess what is really going on at this time. You are holding on to control and not allowing many wonderful blessings to come into your life. Grant yourself an opportunity to get into the sunshine. You deserve to receive this new prospect. Resistance can create unnecessary blocks. Interference can be caused by a multitude of energies, including your own attitude, other people, the weather, and so on. Create the opportunity to regroup and don't feel the need to fight what is happening. It is a waste of energy. Find something else to do and wait until there is a better flow to finish the task at hand. The willingness to try something new is all that is needed to create something wonderful. That's a good message. I like that. It resonates, too, with this reading. Okay, next or last, I'm going to pick one from Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so angels, what is your message for Sagittarius for September? Sagittarius. What is your message for Sagittarius for September? Okay, let me fan these out. And we'll see what the message is. Okay. 
I'm reading both of these only because they both just stood out and stood right up for me to pick them. So I'm going to read them both. Okay, this one is Angel Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. I love that. Okay, that definitely resonates for me. Okay, next one we have is Zana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. See, usually I just pick one card, but that one was standing up kind of like it wanted to come out too. So I think that's meant for somebody. It's meant for someone. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed your video this month for September um, Sagittarians. I think it's a pretty good one. My rising is Sagittarius, so I like it. Anyway, um, check on your rising moon signs. Feel free to leave your comments if you'd like a private reading. My rates and contact info are listed below. Have a wonderful September. Thank you for watching my video.